So, moving to the 60th question that is the last question of paper 2 of IIT JE advance 2013. P 1 by y square cos tan inverse y plus y sin tan inverse y divided by cot sin inverse y plus tan sin inverse y whole square plus y 4 whole to the power half. We have to simplify this term. Second cos x plus cos y plus cos z equals 0 equals sin x plus sin y equal plus sin z. Then the possible value of cos x minus y upon 2 is. Third, if cos pi by 4 minus x cos 2x plus sin x sin 2x sec x is equal to cos x sin 2x sec x plus cos pi by 4 plus x into cos 2x. Then the possible value of sec x is. Fourth, if cot sin inverse root 1 minus x square is equal to sin tan inverse x root 6 x not equal to 0 then the possible value of x is 4 parts first one is starting like which is involving the inverse trigo. If I say tan inverse y is theta so tan theta is simply y we can draw the triangle to get the simplified form. If I say this is theta tan inverse y is equal to theta. So, y upon 1 that is root 1 plus y square. So, that we can get the remaining two terms required that is cos theta and sin theta. Similarly, for the lower part that is denominator, I will read that sin inverse y is equal to alpha. Sin inverse y equals alpha. So, y upon 1 this will be root 1 minus y square correct sin inverse y equals 1 that will give me the third side. So, from there I will be able to find cot of sin inverse y and tan of sin inverse y. So, simplifying this part of P we have 1 by y square multiplied with cos theta cos theta that is 1 upon root 1 plus y square plus y sin theta that is y square upon root 1 plus y square divided by denominator is cot of alpha correct plus tan of alpha cot alpha plus tan alpha that is root 1 minus y square upon y plus y upon root 1 minus y square correct this term whole to the power 2 plus y 4 is there and whole to the power half was given correct. So, now we simplify it as simply 1 plus y square to root that is 1 upon y square into 1 plus y square after squaring it denominator 1 minus y square plus y square cancelled out. So, 1 is left and the remaining portion goes to numerator as y square into 1 minus y square correct plus y 4 is also given with the power half. We can see y square is cancelled 1 minus y 4 plus y 4 is there. So, the clear answer is 1. So, for P we observe that the correct code is 4 that is either to A or to B correct. For next one will definitely be 3, but we need to solve it. Let us check out. If cos x is plus cos y plus cos z is equal to 0 is equal to sin x plus sin y plus sin z, the possible value of cos x minus y upon 2, clearly there is no second choice. x minus y upon 2 can be plus minus 2 pi by 3, giving me simply cos x minus y by 2 that is cos plus minus pi by 3 that is half. So, as I said earlier for the next one the only choice was the third part that is half correct. So, cos x minus y by 2 is equal to half. The next one that is r if cos pi by 4 minus x into cos 2 x plus sin x sin 2 x sec x is equal to cos x sin 2 x sec x plus cos pi by 4 plus x into cos 2 x. Then the possible value of sec x is we have to simplify this equation that is all. So, after simplification we will direct get the result we can see sin 2 x can be written as 2 sin x cos x 
that will be changed totally in terms of cosine. Similarly, this cos pi by 4 plus x cos 2x and cos pi by 4 minus x into cos 2x can be taken together to write as the required result whatever comes out. We can simplify it comfortably. So, let us take this third part. So, simplifying it cos 2 x multiplied with I have taken this term on the left hand side cos a minus b minus cos a plus b that is 2 sin a sin b. So, it is 2 sin pi by 4 sin x is equal to on the right hand side taking sin 2 x common what we are left with sin 2 x common after taking it we get 10 x here and the other one when we take sin 2 x common it is simply 1. So, it is 1 minus 10 x sin 2 x multiplied with 1 minus 10 x correct this is we can rewrite as cos square x minus sin square x or we can carry as it is for the moment cos 2 x multiplied with root 2 into sin x is equal to 2 sin x cos x into 1 minus 10 x term is there correct we can simplify it as 2 cos x multiplied with 2 sin x rather multiplied with cos x minus sin x after taking LCM. This can be factorized as cos x minus sin x. So, we get cos x minus sin x as one factor correct other one here we are left with root 2 times cos x plus sin x multiplied with sin x is equal to 2 sin x that is we can take the other factor as sin x since x is not equal to 0 we can cancel on both sides we get cos x plus sin x is equal to root 2 and cos x minus sin x is equal to 0 giving me tan x equals 1 from the first one that is x can take value as pi by 4 correct x the question was asking me that the possible value of sec x when x is taken as pi by 4 sec x comes as root 2 from this part correct root 2 means it goes to 2. So, clearly the option becomes b, but let us talk about the fourth part. Okay, for the last one that is cot sin inverse root 1 minus x square is equal to sin 10 inverse x root 6. If I take this term as theta, so tan theta is x root 6, x root 6. So, the next term becomes 1 plus 6 x square correct. Similarly, if I take this term as alpha, then sin alpha is root 1 minus x square root 1 minus x square 1. So, the other term is x correct. Now, the question is talking about cot alpha is equal to sin theta cot alpha is equal to sin theta is giving me x upon root 1 minus x square is equal to x root 6 upon root 1 plus 6 x square. Just simplify it that will give you the result as x equals plus minus 1 by 2 root of 5 by 3 from the given options we get the answer is 1. So, as we concluded earlier correct code for this question would be B. So, in this manner we complete this last question that is 60th question of this paper 2 code 8 of J advanced 2013. Thank you.